Good job. Yeah. CJ. Good job, Joseph. You look like shit, man. Yes. Seriously, you alright, though? I don't know. You would just feel done. Just tired. No matter how much you sleep, you're always just tired. You ever try jerking it in that bathroom before work? Yeah, the uh, stalls don't lock in. Like Terry's even paying attention. Hey guys! <laughs> and Jill, unless you've had a couple of surgeries that I don't know about. <laughs> what do you want, Terry? Well, there have been a few things going on in the office that I wanted to discuss I in a meeting. Well, all three of us are already here. Well, yeah, but I made a PowerPoint. So, come on, guys, let's go. Whoa, 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 um, we, we do need somebody to stay on the phones. It's the graveyard shift. Nobody even calls here. You might want to get that. All right, guys. Now, this is another problem we've been having, okay? If an agent calls in sick, you've got to be sure that they get a cover for their shift, all right? Because if you don't, something like this is going to happen. Like last Thursday, some terrorists decided to blow up a building or something and... Qatar, some place with sand, all right? Now, I don't know who it was, but I could look it up. I didn't, but just know that I could. Got my eyes on you guys, okay? Last but not least, shit. Well, I forgot this slide. It's okay, it's not important. Point is, I don't want you guys to think of your job as something that could be done by a computer or an extension list. I mean, it, it could totally. All of your duties are pretty automated, but you know, the CIA likes the the human touch, or something. So, um, good talk, guys. Okay, let's go. Central Intelligence Auxiliary Helpline, huh? Listen to this. You might want to get that. City more. You stab when we slap them. What? Uh, CIA helpline. How can I help you? Oh, I need to contact my supervisor so I can call in sick today. Awesome. What's your case number? Oh, I have six, seven, niner. Oh, very good. Nice job on the Niner. Very professional. Alright, so it looks like it's just an exchange with a bunch of hackers. Yeah, I have to give these idiot hackers a bunch of false info. You gotta spend that budget somehow. Yeah, no, the best part is <laughs> they're actually paying us. <laughs> How much are they paying? 500000 $500,000. Okay. That would be totally awesome for us to have. Steal $500,000 from the CIA. Uh, technically, it's a couple of hackers. No, it's not. Whatever, man. The guy doesn't even know who we talked to. A. B. We'll probably be halfway to Argentina by the time they figure it all out. Yeah, I don't really want to get hunted down by a bloated military industrial clusterfuck. Whatever, man. You're always talking about how life needs to turn around and change and blah, 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 blah. And here, they've handed us a golden goddamn opportunity. Pretty much Jesus coming on down from on high with two hookers in one hand and a kilo of coke in the other. Woo! 500,000 fucking dollars. Alright. I suppose five hundred thousand dollars is enough to make it rain. On all the hookers in the county at least. There's only one problem. What? Dude, Jill totally hates me. She doesn't even pay attention to half the things I say. Yeah, but hey Jill! CJ, can we have a little chat about how I'd rather now get my leftovers and 
Wait, we just did. We'll be fucking. Okay. What's the plan? So we wait for these idiots to show up, give them this USB stick I stole from my roommate, grab the money, and get the hell out. What's on the USB stick? I don't know, porn or something? What if they want to look at it? Well then we'll tell them that we're gonna drone strike their mother's house or some shit. I don't know, they think we're CIA for Christ's sake. Yeah, good plan. So how do we, uh, how do we know when they get here? I don't know. Gentlemen, let's destroy some capitalist pigs. Ah, uh, okay. Show them the money. Awesome. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You're not getting that money till we see what's on that stick. Oh, what the hell, guys? We promised to sell you this shit. Now we're here. Here's the thing. Give me the money. You seriously are asking us to trust you CIA dipshits right Look, now. Who do you think is gonna get fucked if this gets out, huh? The CIA that sold it to you, or you two hacktivist dumb shits? We are not giving you any money until we get a laptop down here to see if there's anything on that. Give me the money! Or what? Are you gonna do something about it, you Nazi- Oh, oh shit. shit! Listen up, douchebags! I'm tired of shitty neighbors, and shitty boss, and shitty pay, and his stupid plan is my only way out of this hellhole. And you two hacker numb nuts idiots are not fucking this up! I, I mean, Now no. give me the money! <laughs> there's not actually any money. You are not fucking with no, me right now! No, I'm not fucking with you right now, no, I'm for there's real. There's really no, no, no money, no. man. We're we're CIA agents. We're stinking you. I mean, well, we're not really CIA agents. What, what, I mean, what the fuck are you doing here? Well, I mean, you know, we work kind of in like a regional call center thing, and you know, a guy called in sick, and I guess we wanted to come here and, and get the secrets and maybe like sell them Jesus. to WikiLeaks. Or we really something. didn't think this through at all, did we? No, we really didn't. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. So the CIA is trying to trick two hackers into buying information from them. So the two hackers are actually also CIA agents trying to root out domestic terrorists by pretending to sell information to them? Yeah? Give me that money! I mean, oh, hey! Oh, what Holy the fuck? Shit. There's money in there? Shit, we forgot to check the bag! Hey, get the oh. fuck out of here! Ah. Bag, bag, bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, yeah. President Franklin. Dude, where'd you get this gun? Uh, pawn shop. Yeah? Can I see it? What? Yeah, just, uh, don't shoot yourself. Whatever, man, if I can handle that shitty job, I can handle this gun. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, fuck. Okay, oh, that's okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, you got two options. You stay here, wait for the cops, to explain my idiot friend shot himself with your own gun. Oh, there's option B. CJ? I mean, this would be three whole minutes that he's late and he hasn't returned any of my messages or nothing. Oh, also, you were late too. I noticed. I That's right, Mark. Once again, our top story. Hey, guys. Look at this. Found murdered in what police are now terming the most horrifying crime scene in decades. So, uh, the only fact that I'm allowed to disclose as of the moment is that... <clears throat> We came across a body with its head blown off uh, next to a bag of roughly $500,000. God damn it! Uh, oh my god! Damn them! But really, the brutality of the murder came post mortem when a group of rabid hobos descended upon the corpse, stripped it, violated it. Every orifice was filled with a, uh, a mixture, a frothy, 
mixture of uh, anal lubricant and fecal matter, which the, uh, the lab is telling me is called the uh, Santorum. A police spokesman confirmed that the victim was not rich enough to warrant further investigation. <sighs> well, someone's got to write a Craigslist post. All right. Well, should I come, I guess?